So for these muffins we will need uh, half a lime or lemon. We are going to use the juice uh, to curdle our milk later. We are going to squeeze it. Um, next I have half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Besides that I also have one and a half teaspoon of baking powder and then a big pinch of salt or about quarter teaspoon salt followed by vanilla extract a good quality vanilla extract and next I have vegetable oil so about one third cup of light vegetable oil and the secret ingredient is custard powder one tablespoon of custard powder if you don't have that you can also use cornstarch so this is sort of your egg replacer if you make <laughs> next we have one cup of white sugar and then one and one quarter cup of milk you can use any milk of your choice plant-based as well and then we have two cups of plain flour so again here you can use your gluten-free flour or oatmeal flour if you'd like and I have here one big cup of fresh blueberries. We are now going to curdle our milk. So squeeze in the lime juice in, directly in the milk. So about one to two teaspoons. And then just mix it nicely. After that we'll set it aside and let it do its own thing. Now take a mixing bowl and place a sieve on top of it and then we'll add our flour followed by the custard powder and then the baking powder the bicarbonate soda and lastly we'll add in our salt to this Time for some sifting action. So sift everything nicely in the bowl. Now using a spatula or wooden spoon, make a well in the center of the flour. We are going to pour our liquid ingredients in this well. We will start by adding in our oil, our vegetable oil to this. So just pour that in. And then next we'll add in our vanilla extract, so about one teaspoon. Followed by the liquid milk that has already curdled a little bit. So gently pour that in until you reach sort of the top of the flour. And then mix this a little. Use a very light hand when you do this, just mix this lightly, as lightly as possible. Then you can add in any leftover milk to this. Again, we will just be mixing this mixture to sort of combine the ingredients. We are not trying to mix it too much here to remove all the lumps because we don't want to overmix our muffins. Now let's add in the fresh blueberries and we'll just fold it in the mixture a couple of times, followed by the sugar. Same thing, we will fold it in nicely a few times. All we want to do is mix everything, but we don't want to overmix it. Over mixing a muffin will take away its fluffy texture and make it tense. And it's alright if there are lumps, that won't be a problem later. Using a scoop, a metal scoop, I'm going to pour in the batter in a lined muffin tin. So I've lined it with paper cases and I'm going to fill it till uh, the cases are three quarter full to give space for the muffins to rise. Our muffins are now ready to be baked for 15 to 20 minutes in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius and they are ready when they are nice and golden brown on top.
So let me show you how they look inside. I'm going to break one open for you. Look at that, how nice and fluffy it is. <laughs> Love the color of the blueberries in the muffin. Now let's take one cup of icing sugar and add in about two teaspoons of lime juice to create our glaze. So we'll squeeze it in nicely and then we are going to mix this gradually. So what we are creating here is this thick glaze so we do not want to add too much liquid to it. And if you don't want lime, you can just use plain water. I'm using a combination here as I want a bit of the tangy taste. So mix it up nicely. And then just add in a little bit of water, not too much, just to bind everything together. Just keep mixing it nicely and our glaze is now ready. So now we are just going to pour the glaze on the muffin. <laughs> There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just, just pour it over nicely until it's covered. If you want it to be less sweet, then of course just use uh, lesser glaze. You can just uh, put it in a, like a stripey pattern or cover it completely like I'm doing because <laughs> I like a bit of glaze on mine. Our muffins are now ready to be enjoyed. Thank you for watching and do like, comment and share your feedback and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Thank you again.